Tell me more about it. Tell me, tell me. Because I actually, you missed it. I was telling them. I actually don't know the show at all. Well, it's nothing about it. And this is his third time doing it. Oh, yeah. same role or no? same role. Oh. This is Neil Simon's uh, foray into the wonderful genre of farce, with uh, you know the door slamming and the misunderstandings and the cross signals, and it's four couples uh, going to Charlie and Myra Brock's tenth anniversary party okay. up at their house, and the first couple arrives to a sort of a chaotic uh, scene, and uh, as the show progresses, uh, each successive Successful, successive couple <laughs> arrives, and they, uh, they just they are trying to figure out what's going on because Charlie and Myra are nowhere to be found. So at their own party. At their own party. And that's the mystery. And that's <laughs> a mystery that actually never really gets solved <laughs> by the end of the show. show or am I not supposed to know? There, there is a there is a twist ending, but uh, that's you'll have to come see the show to, to figure that out. It's a mystery is. What happened to these people? Where is one of these people? And why did this happen to one of these people? <laughs> but everybody sticks around at the party. Yes. So because uh, the first couple tries to fool them, the second couple to arrive, and everything's just fine. And everything's under control. Charlie, you don't Charlie, well, they're they're up in their room. Getting ready. Getting so, ready for, for the last four hours. <laughs> <laughs> in the past, but, but no, it, it's uh, it's very much uh, farce, pure comedy. It's just a bunch of professionals who <laughs> don't quite know what's going on. So a lot like us in general. We're pretty much so, yeah. Yeah, yeah we usually right. don't know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. We just I show know. up and do what they tell us yeah. Yeah. most yeah. of the time. Yeah, no, that makes complete sense. Um, it's directed by Denise Franciani. Denise, and your opening weekend, how did that feel? It was it was good. Our opening night was was very very uh, gratifying. I was relieved that they weren't upset that they weren't singing a musical. They, just, <laughs> yeah. they were actually yeah. laughing. They didn't do their homework like I didn't do my homework. Yes, but there is a, a dance Chase. number at the, at the, at the oh, yeah. towards the end of, towards the second act. You guys are in the dance number? Well, all of is. us are. Not me. Uh, uh, he not he me. is. Really? Oh no, no, you're not. That's right. I'm off stage. Left huh? out of the dances. Well, but because, Biz, Biz and I get down and down. Oh yeah. So now, I love you guys. This Good for you. Ages. Boo on you, Gordon. And and the, the song they dance to is, is well, it's, it's a surprise. It's a surprise, yeah. but it's so appropriate for the group. <laughs> <laughs> and how does Ben do in his dances? I, and Being on this stage when you have, a, you know, the larger audiences and they get, they get into it and you do hear them. It was, it's a huge energy rush, I bet. Yeah. yeah. That part is so kiddos, what's the uh, junior company got for us this show? What's <laughs> they're, the excitement? They're the, they are the adult juniors. And they're what does fantastic. that mean? Adult ju like previously they were juniors and now they are coming back and reprising? No. Or just, no we're, they're just adults. <laughs> yeah, but we've got some, you know, Janet got Lade, Jessica Sarkeesian. Jessica Sarkeesian. Oh, and some, oh some, no, you got like talent. Vocal, vocal run, hitters. You guys have some real talent. Yeah. Oh, oh. And it doesn't overshadow the show. It probably does a little bit. We I haven't seen that. any of it, so I'm not judging. I'm actually no. I'm that's like, no. that's exactly my thought. We're Claude, some hey, nights they might not be too happy with us. You guys. How do you follow that? We don't. No, we, we don't. don't. We, don't. Right, well, well, we just hope they don't. And shows up. It's a fun show. I mean, I I obviously enjoy doing it because this is my third time. You must hate it. Yeah, just and, awful. And, play, and, and Lenny is, is a fun character to play. He's he's a he's a high strung, you know, very. Easy comedic character to, to put out there, he, and he does it so well. Both the physicality and the lines he has, which right. I'm sure, and the audience loves it, comes through because you're having so much fun with it. it yeah, I mean, it, it, it really does make a difference if you, if you are if you enjoy the script, you you enjoy you enjoy the cast you're with. You know, it's it's uh, acting is is is, is playing for grownups. I mean, it's just I say that a lot. It's, People ask me what it is, and I say I get to. I get to play dress up for the rest of my life. That's and getting a lot of little kids and that's getting perfect. a laugh is such a rush. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's a validation. Oh yeah, we're we're doing something right. Hey, we're, we're they like. And when you have an excellent script, great lines. Yes. It makes it so, so much, much easier. easier. And a great director. Well, great director.
But we've got a great set. I mean, the set looks it's great on this, on this stage. David Pierce did a wonderful job. That's what we were talking about, this artwork that the scene shop actually creates. Yeah. It's not artwork that's been bought. It's not donated from anywhere. The scene shop makes the art as well as the set. I think mean, it's to fantastic. Reproduce a Jackson Pollock. That's, that's <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> you might be onto something, you guys. Yeah. yeah, so we've got the great set. We've got a great script and a great cast. And when you have those three and we actually get in sync, that's a wonderful thing. Well, you guys can't go wrong. I'm really excited to see it. 